What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Corset Cube. This is our second Corset Cube draft. Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic holiday. Hopefully, you guys are staying safe. You know, not traveling across the country to visit your loved one with 50 million Americans and 2,000 people dying a day. But, you know, you do you. All right. Confiscate seems nice. So does Nexus of Fate. Krenko seems good. I traveled across the house to the kitchen. You and me both, buddy. It was quite a trek. Really? The most fun you've seen me play was a Grixis cube? I disagree. I think the most fun I've had was probably the Live the Dream cube. I think that cube was absolutely fantastic. And it, it spoke to me in, in ways... I, I did actually like the Ravnica Supreme drafts as well. I think it's just Nexus of Fate. Nexus of Fate was busted enough to be banned, so, you know, that's got to be good, right? Coat of Arms, interesting. Well, now we're pretty committed to a second color here, unless we just take Telling Time. Could be murder. It's murder. Arena ain't bad, you're right. But I play EDH, what do I know? No, you've proven to have some pretty good insights, Brett. I think you're just, uh, I think you're just being modest right now. I'm gonna take the telling time, because I don't think murder's good enough to go into black. I don't love telling time, but I also think it's fine. See, now we can take a Yarok. We, you guys want to build around Yarok? I, I kind of do, so we're going to, because that's what we do. Murder would have been nice now. Oh, Demonic Pact. Vampire Sovereign does combo with Yarok. Triggers twice. Six, 12 point drain. It's pretty decent. Thank I think there's a Vampire sub theme in here. Oh, what up, the Mike Hypothesis? Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I think it's, I think it's Demonic Pact, dude. And then we just look for ways to get rid of it. Like, I love Demonic Pact. It's literally one of my favorite cards from Magic Origins. And I tried in uh, a, a lot of ways to uh, to make that thing a thing. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. Nicol Bolas is a way to destroy our own demonic pact. I can't. I can't resist the siren's call of the Nicol Bolas. I'm also gonna pick up as much fixing slash ramp as I can find. Josh, what up, my dude? Rootbound Crag is interesting because it works as either of our splashes. I think it's actually Essence Scatter or Negate here. Both of these are very, very good. Might as well go five color, get that door. <laughs> this is hilarious, because like I really wonder if this is a legitimate thing to do in this cube. I actually have no idea. Demonetized, wow. Wow. I kind of like negate a little better because I feel like black is going to have enough answers to deal with creatures. Oh, counterspell? Just a legit, just straight up counterspell? Wow, I kind of want Liliana because she's great. But I also think just counterspell is where you need to be here. Mm -hmm. 
Target performance is the top seven cards of the library. You may cast an instant or sorcery from them. If there are two or more, you may cast up to two instant or sorcery. I'm just taking Doom Blade here. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit? Oh, that's nice. That's a bonus. Bonus! I don't hate Sign and Blood. I don't think we're going to be Brineborn Cutthroating. You ever kill someone with a Sign and Blood? It's a good feeling. Shadowborn Demon is pretty sweet. Although six creature cards is a bunch. I'm going to take Archaeomancer. It actually... Hmm. No, I'm going to take the 5-6 flyer. I'll take Perilous Vault. Perilous Vault could be great. It also gets rid of Demonic Pact. Right now, we're basically just blue-black splashing for a red Nicol Bolas and a, and a green Yarok. Stormtide Leviathan I put in a deck back in the day with um, uh, Mass Polymorph. It was one of the three targets I had. It was like Stormtide Leviathan, Emrakul, and something else. Guys, the door to nothing just came back. I'm not going to take it, but it's, it's there. <laughs> Josh, considering Tooth and Nail was never in a core set... And I like this because we have a good amount of two drops here, so. Oh, wow, we can take Time Warp. And we can actually have multiple Time Warps in our deck. Which actually seems pretty Inferno Titan, also just a banger. I do feel like in this cube there's going to be a lot more creature removal. Just ways to deal with just normal creatures because it's a, it's a core set. I don't think we want double red. I think we do want to stick to blue and black here. And maybe just lightly splash these. I don't think we have any reason to take a uh, a double red card here. Although if he comes back, I will gladly take it and accept my fate. Dungeon Geists, I don't hate. Open the Graves. Every non token creature control dies, create a 2 2. Mind Stone is great. City of Brass could be good. I don't love taking damage every turn from City of Brass. I kind of just want the Mind Stone. Could just be City. I think it's actually City. I mean, double blue, double black, double black. Yeah, I'll just take City. I don't love it, but I have to get over that because I think it's probably what we need here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little Gary. Oh, Rupture Spire seems great for us. Gary? Yeah, we're just going to take Rupture Spire. It's just basically a City of Brass that doesn't hurt us. I really don't think our deck is that greedy. We have literally one green card and one red card, and our red card is eight mana. Like, we're literally just double black. Uh, we're just black blue. <laughs> 
No. Flood of Tears is interesting. Kind of just want sleight of hand here. Doom Descender is also fine. It's just a body we can put. Let's take Sky Diamond actually. Sky Diamond seems better. <clears throat> yeah, let's take Sky Diamond. Maze Mind Tome, I love. Memory Lapse is a beating. I think I just want the Maze Mind Tome. Being able to draw cards here seems very, very good. Plus, we already have Negate Counterspell. Underground River. Oh, and a charcoal diamond? Wow. I kind of want the... I kind of want the underground river. Although opportunity is also pretty sweet. I think our mana base is more important right now. That pack was great. I would take three cards out of that pack. Windcast, mm, kind of meh. Automaton, meh. I mean, we're just going to take Windcast because it's like the only thing in here for us. Dismal Backwater seems great. Tendrils is fine, but unless we hit like an Urborg, I'm not really super into it. Take that Backwater. Reign of Revelation is fantastic. I also love Disciple of Bullets, but with two creatures in our deck so far, I'm not sure if that's really the way we want to go. I also don't know who good Shadowborn Demon is willing to, but we'll take we'll take rain. Short of getting opportunity, this card's uh, pretty pretty darn close. This is only a copy of a creature you control, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, I mean, if we're a little more red, we can actually play Enigma Drake pretty easily. Let's take Elixir. Elixir can be just miserable. Here's something I found. Out Alexa, there. stop. Did anyone else go off? Flood of Tears? Sure, I'll take a Flood of Tears. We can Flood of Tears when, like, when we have Nicol Bolas in hand. On like six, and then just put Nicol Bolas into play. It's also a great way to get rid of Demonic Pact. Actually, maybe we just main deck that. Memory Lapse came back? Oh my god. Wow. This is gr Opportunity came back? Oh my god, those are like two of the cards I wanted. Holy smokes, this deck is looking juicy. Plus we have City and Rupture Spire for our splash. Oh, Ambassador Laquatus. We can now mill them out. Here's a Golos. Tomebound Lich, which is like basically a tiny vampire nighthawk. That lets you loot. Jungle Hollow. I mean, Golos seems actually perfect, right? It gets our red source. It ramps us to almost Nicol Bolas. It ramps us to, ne to Nexus of Fate. I feel like it's Golos here for sure. Plus we do have Yarak. Yarak is also, even if you don't actually have a ton of permanence under the battlefield to trigger, like you still have Death Touch and Lifelink on a 3-5, which is just fine. Oh, that Soren is interesting. Polymorph is interesting. 
I don't think we're in polymorph territory yet, but... Could just be Terror, actually. Terror seems pretty good. Could be Talrand? I don't think anyone's taking Talrand. I think we can take the Terror and feel fine about it. Terror and Doomblade is pretty old school. I think Lich is fine, for sure. I also think Lich is probably going to table. I don't think there's many blue drafters, let alone blue-black drafters at this table, so... Could also be Hangerback Walker, which I kind of like. I kind of do like Boomerang to get packed back, yeah. Um, it's not terrible. I do want. I do kind of like that that synergy. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, Stormwing Entity seems fantastic. So does Icy Manipulator, though. Hmm. Fascinating. Sift is basically. So here's the thing, like. Reign of Revelation, draw three cards and discard a card, draw three cards and discard a card. It's just an instant speed sift, which makes it so much better in the blue decks that you want it in. This guy got two mana if you cast an instant or sorcery this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm taking this guy. We don't have many win conditions, and this guy's a pretty good one, so. Jace's ingenuity, Sphinx's tutelage. Interesting. <laughs> kind of like just preordain, honestly, especially with storming entity. Time stop? That's kind of like a third time walk. I don't think we care about Nantuko Husk. Displacement Wave, return all Nailing Farms. Yeah, I don't care about that. Mutilate actually could... No, well, we're not going to have a ton of swamps is the problem. Oh, I like Chase Bellerin a lot. Also, a Ponder in this pack? I think this cube is surprisingly powerful. I think we want the Jace Bellerin. Yeah, I'm going to take Jace. I was mid-Mando and the episode was too damn good to interrupt. Buddy, I understand. Claustrophobia is also fine. Temple of Malady does help us with the Yarok, actually. And we don't think we need more playables. I'll take the Temple. Oh, God. All of our blue-black cards that were splat were like, blue-black-white, blue-black-red, blue-black-green. I kind of like Tauren's Invocation, actually. Oh, the Lich came back? That's fantastic. I don't think we need Sign and Blood and Telling Time. Especially when we have Opportunity and Reign of Revelation. And Jace. Yeah, I think we're doing good on that front. Still need like two cuts here. Plus City also lets us... City and Rupture Spire both let us uh, cast white spells. Uh, or, or add white mana, I should say, for uh, Golos. I could see Yarrick being a cut. It also makes our mana easier. Talrand was a card I was like kind of hoping it came back. Makes our Temple of Malady pick worse, but Sift, sure, I'll take a Sift. You don't think with seven creatures that uh, it's really a Talrand deck, or uh, not Talrand? Uh, a Yarok deck. Also, Shadowborn Demon's probably a cut as well. Feels weird, but... If that Chromium comes back, we're definitely going to play Chromium. Especially with Rupture Spire and City. 
I don't think he will, but I, I think it's actually too late. How many ways do we have to get rid of Pact? Well, we have Boomerang. Uh, we could put the trigger on the stack and then time stop. Worst case scenario, it's an option. Uh, Flood of Tears returns it to our hand. Nicol Bolas can destroy it for plus three. I think that's it. Is that too few, you think? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, right, like most of them are like six, 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 eight. Have you considered out of board things to do with channel points? Not really, just because I I'm really bad at coming up with like perks and things like that. This also makes our black a lot easier with only Doomblade and Nicol Bolas as a double and, and Tome bound. What are our win conditions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then tutelage. Actually, tutelage is a pretty decent win condition. cutting time stop we already have nexus and time warp actually i could see cutting boomerang now that we don't have uh dark petition anymore dark demonic pact rather <laughs> i always get dark petition and demonic pact confused they're both rares from uh i believe they're both in magic origins and they both had double black casting costs and dp as initials so oh also we could play elixir <laughs> that's kind of funny Either way, we'll play Underground, Rupture, Dragon Skull, Dismal, and City here. One, two, three, four red sources. It should be fine. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven. Go eleven, eight, because we do have double black on Nicol Bolas, and I do want to hit that. Um, we also have... I can actually cut a black, and we will play the Temple. Because of Golos. And it just makes it easier to activate. I think the five life is good. I also think the um, the shuffling is good in a deck like this where we have like Opportunity, Reign of Revelation, Jace, where we're just drawing a bunch of cards. I mean, we'll see. I don't, I don't think we want it just yet, but... I 
I mean, I could also cut the Drake, make my red mana a little easier, and then not worry about it. This hand seems good. Three mana into four mana. Oh, what up, Timmy? Timmy! I bet you get that all the time. Oh, that's a fine draw. Actually, yeah, I'll keep Talrand on top. We can go Talrand into Talrand's Invocation. Oh, scavenging a ooze. Oh, oh, I don't want to discard that. I might just discard Storming Entity, Entity actually. Makes this guy better, though. Flood of Tears and Nicol Bolas is pretty good. I still think that's fine. Like, we have plans for both of these guys, so. God, I almost didn't want to loot there. They could double block, and I think if that's a f trading with scavenging is here is just fine. Interesting. I know a red. I'm just gonna discard mountain. I I'm actually not super concerned with that. And we're just hoping they don't have an answer for Talrand, I guess. I think negate in the long game could be significantly better. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. That's good, but fine. Like in cubes, I think negate is just stronger because there's certain cards where you just lose if you don't counter them. I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be in the corset cube, but... Rancor. Fascinating. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Drake's do go burr. What if they ultimate here? I'll take 12. Probably block with Tombound Lich to prevent 3 kill us scavenging use. That seems fine. Oh man. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're flooding if we hit a land just dropping Nicol Bolas. Oh, well, maybe not now, I guess. By Temple of Malady. Yep. Okay.
That's pretty good. Gary, Gary, and Barry. Um. And also Gary. This seems fine. It really, it gets rid of the Sky Scanner. It really hampers Garrick. And uh, they have to block it, at least two things here, so. And the, the other thing was, like, if we, if, if loot, Lich gets through, and is it any combat damage or to a player? Okay, to a player. This is fine. You get your little ranky back. Okay. Yep, you got it. Oh, yeah, because they're tokens. Sure. Oh, be a be a spell. Something's happening. Not sure what it is, but it's something, I bet. Adaptive Automaton. You get a name Ooze? That would be very strange. Elf. Okay. All right. That guy is good. That guy is a good... Can't even hit that guy. Why did he named Elf, but you played Ooze and Human? And this guy makes knights? It's very strange. My confusion is high. Okay, I like that. Mega Drake. Uh yeah, I was gonna say I was just gonna keep any land that's here. Could definitely bottom one though. Attack old Garrel. I mean, I'm just hoping they would most land like a Planeswalker or like an Overrun type card so I can counter it, make a Drake, and feel like I'm in good shape. Because next turn we get to Golos, and Golos blocks Basri's Lieutenant all day. Yeah, the, the fact that this keeps coming back is a good enough reason for me to counter this. Yep, you got it. This guy's gonna be sizable. Still no attacks though. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets seven. Oh, I should have played this. I'm so bad. I was gonna get Rupture Spire. We can just get. S Actually, we can just get Dragon Skull Summit here. Yeah, Dragon Skull Summit seems fine. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I definitely wish we got a... Uh, I mean, we need a green and a white here, and a red. So, like, there's... Even getting, like, Rupture Spire wouldn't have put us that much farther ahead, but... 
three, four, five, six, seven mana. Well, six mana now. Okay. Five mana now. All right. Change their entire mind. Elvish champion. <laughs> okay. Not entirely. Yeah, eat your sky scanner. You got it. I will take six. Land? Come on, land. Maze mind tone. That's a land. I mean, they're on a two-turn clock right now. And we have two blockers for their guys, so... I mean, we could just win next turn, theoretically. They have one card. Alright, well. Like, you can block Golos, you can easily block Ooze if we have to, which I think is fine. At this point, we can even steal the Ooze. Oh boy. Here's seven mana. It's... Hmm. I think they're just going to Bane fire us and attack with everybody. Genesis Hydra seems significantly better than a main fire. Hitting. Okay. They get to choose. It's funny because Silk Clash Spider and Gideon and Primal Might are all answers to, uh, to the Drakes. They were at seven. Now they get to at least kill the seventh damage on board so <sighs> solid options Got Silk Lash Spider, huh? Oh, I guess we can still kill them, right? Like, we just go Nicol Bolas, steal the spider. Yeah, that's still game. If they had Gideon and killed one of our flyers, we'd be alive. But just putting Silk Lash isn't going to do it. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Boy, Nicol Bolas is a dude. Does this deck have any answer to a Stormtide Leviathan? I don't think so, man. I also wonder if we're doing ourselves a disfavor by not just playing Perilous Vault, because we have very few permanents that actually care about it. I don't know. Oh, what up, Fritz? Two eight drops seems like it might be a bit much. I guess we have Golos and Sky Diamond, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I just wonder if sometimes the Vaz is going to shut their deck off. Like, the only thing I could see them having is, like, we attack with it, they giddy in it. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna submit like this. I think our deck looks good. This hand seems fantastic. Actually gonna hold preordain in case we need it. Ooh, maze mind tome. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate, but Maze Mind Tome is still pretty good for us. It's basically like a Jace that you can't just attack. Uh, if you choose to lose the, the game ability, well, so you can't really choose it, right? Because once you choose it, the ability is resolving. Interesting. Killing the land here instead of the Mage Mind's Tome is really interesting. Maze Mind Tome is really interesting. This is also why we kept preordained, because now we can look for black sources, what have you. Um, what you want to do is when you only have that ability left... Actually, I don't think you can do that. Because next turn... I'm really not sure of the wording. It would actually have to... It's, it's kind of particular. Um... Oh, I kind of want both of these. <laughs> I think we just take Stormwind Entity, play Stormwing Entity. Yeah, that seems good. And then keep the Dragon Skull Summon on top. And then we can Scry again. I don't think we want one, two, three, four. Yeah, actually we kind of do. Our hand is pretty stacked, so. I think that's fine. Sure. I mean, playing Garrick when I have a 3 3 flyer is pretty suspect. Unless you have a white or red removal spell that costs two. Mm, sure. Dragon Skull Summit. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. We should have literally played like Sphinx's Tutel. Actually, we can play Ray Reign of Revelation here and kill Garrick. We have to discard one, right? Um, two, three. It's actually probably just Jace. I don't think Jace is doing us many favors here. So we'll six mana next turn. We can go Tutelage and just keep up either Memory Lapse or Maze Mind Tome. This actually could be really bad with opportunity here. I'm definitely going to block the Elvis Champion, though. Whatever this is, is going... Yeah, that's... Going back. And then we get to mill it, actually, so Memory Lapse is actually pretty insanely good here. And I'm definitely blocking Elvis Champion. Oh, 
God, we hit a counter spell. Jeez. So does opportunity mill them for like eight cards plus you know any any doubles that that happen? I mean we're definitely just passing here. I don't think we need to play. Actually, I guess we can play invocation and keep up counterspell. Yeah, that seems better. So if you time stop before you select losing the game, then you haven't selected losing the game, and next turn you still have to choose one that you haven't chosen before. So it only prevents you from losing the game that turn. So there has to be a way for you to, to choose lose the game, and then like it has to go on the stack, and then you have to actually time stop. Because otherwise you're just in the same position that you were in next turn. Okay, this is a pretty bad hit. I'm going to let this part resolve because I don't care about either of these three and we're probably just going to counter the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's fine. What are we hitting here? Palaka Worm. Oh, wow. Next is a fate. Four, five, six, seven. <whistles> That's pretty decent. Let's next is a fate. Let's win on all the metrics. Time warp. Yeah. We are telling the time. Let's do that before we do anything else. Underground, land, negate. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep negate in my hand. We'll put mountain on top. Let's draw the mountain. We're just going to attack with one. We know they have rancor. I guess we have negate. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I feel like we're in very good shape here. Opportunity should legit just kill them next turn. Five mana. Six mana. negate coming in clutch here because they were going to put rancor in this guy make it a three this would get plus five so it'd be eight we'd go to two that doesn't sound fun at all yeah we're definitely blocking here like if they just don't have creatures on board it's fine like i'd rather take one here and then they have to use like treetop village to be Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, so they're just dead then, right? Oh, we can also make them draw the four card. No, we can't. Your turn. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, like, it's virtually impossible to play these sorts of cubes on Arena. The cards just aren't there. And, like, in order to program... 
like I went over this um when it came when Modern Horizons came out. Um I think the professor made a video about how it was such a mistake to not release um Modern Horizons on Arena. It was just such a bad marketing move. And so I like after thinking about it, I'm like Modern Horizons had 43 abilities. 43 different mechanics from Magic's history. Battle Cry, Buyback, Cascade, Changeling, Convoke, Cycling, Dash, Delve, Devour, Dredge, Echo, Entwine, Evoke, Evolve, Exalted, Exploit, Fate Flower, Flashback, Hellbent, Hideaway, Kicker, Level Up, Modular, Monstrosity, Morbid, Ninjutsu, Outlast, Overload, Persist, Proliferate, Rebound, Replicate, Retrace, Shroud, Snow Mana, Splice, Storm, Suspend, Threshold, Undying, Unearth, Untap, and Vanishing. Those are all of the mechanics that were available in Modern Horizons. And to be like, you should just put it on MTG Arena. As if, like, you can easily program 43 new abilities that interact with every card in the client is just so, like, out of touch with, like, how that works. It's just mind-blowing to me. I was just like, wow, really? You think you just put it on Arena, huh? It also includes, without Kaladesh, which was just released recently... There were 52 modern sets included in Modern Horizons. 52 different sets that were not already on Arena. And, like, do the math here, right? Let's say it takes a set, let's say every two months, which is incredibly ambitious considering they already put out the newest standard set in every three months. So let's say every two months, they're actually, they're putting this out, so it goes one month, nothing, one month modern set, one month standard set, so no modern set then. Fourth month, another modern set. Fifth month, nothing. You know? So like, uh, you know, every two months, a new modern set's coming out, despite the standard sets already coming out as well. Not only could players probably never compete with this amount of this amount of sets, right? It's just, it's just untenable. Um, but for every two months, if a new set came out ambitiously every two months, uh, and there's 52 of them, so it's 104, divided by 12... You would have Modern on Magic Online in about eight years. Is that right? Or is it half that? So maybe it's six sets a year, right? 52 divided by six? Yeah, it's about eight years. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? How is that even going to work? Oh my god. So yeah, that's that's basically one of the reasons why it's the it's unlikely to find these these types of cubes on arena. Because you don't just get to add like you can't just be like I'm going to add, you know, um I don't know, think of a card with an ability. I'm going to add, you know, Palace Jailer. Well, okay, but now you have to program the Monarch. You have to program the 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 Crown card. You know, like it's such a there's so many things you have to actually do. Oh, Katie, my dear. How are you? Katie's playing World of Warcraft downstairs. I'm going to bottom this and top this. So anyway, that's my rant on um, why it's utterly ridiculous to presume that you could put Modern Horizon. You could just put it on. Just put it on Arena. You could just put it on there. Just toss it on. I believe Monarch is on Arena. Is it really? I can't think of a single Monarch. I mean, was it in Jumpstart? That would make sense then. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen, um, I've never seen Monarch on, on Arena because I've just never played against a card that does that. Dragon's Horde. It's just whipped together a cheesecake. No big deal. But it was a big deal. I like this. I like being able to play JC. Oh. I want to put you in my hand, you on the top, and then, yeah, that's, that's really good. I like it a lot. Just whipped together a gluten for birthday cake. I'm going to do it, okay? Good grief. Katie's been hassling me about making this cake for her, and I'm going to tonight.
Katie's birthday was Sunday, guys, so you should all wish Katie a happy birthday. Oh, I see. <sighs> I see. I see how we're doing here. Merry Wound Liberation. <laughs> God. Good grief. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Let's both draw a card. Get to mill me for two. Oh, dang. Let's play some birds. Oh, yeah, we're keeping that on top for sure. Oh, no! Now it's going to go away. We should have definitely done that before we drew cards. Oh boy. Well, that is unfortunate. I always feel like I lose to the stupid mirror mill match where they have where they have their mill card and then I they end up milling my mill card. I'm just like darn it. I think we definitely bring an elixir. We take out a bunch of nonsense. I don't think Flood of Tears is actually as good as I thought it was. I, I thought it was going to go hard on the like tokens and be like, oh, bounce everything, but... Still have seven cards. Where are their lands? Hmm. Oh, well, I like that. We're going to draw three here. Yeah, I don't know why you don't do this during your turn to hit land drops, but I'm just going to scoop here. I, I don't feel like we're in a great position. They're going to go to 9,000 cards. Uh, I'm going to bring an elixir. We're taking out Flood of Tears. We're taking out Doom Blade. Yeah, I was actually considering Vault just to get rid of the stupid enchantment. You know, 
I want to be honest. I didn't even consider Nexus. Nexus is actually pretty insane, right? Like, if they put it in the graveyard, it just gets shuffled back in. We get to draw it, and then we just get to take infinite turns. Like, that would actually be kind of hilarious. Wow. Hmm. I kind of like Crucible if they're milling us. It's kind of weird, but... I'll keep this hand. Six drop, eight drop, what can, what can go wrong? I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Not super excited about it right now. Uh, Crucible, I just put it in because if they're milling us, it's an easy way to get lands out of our graveyard. You encounter my Tomebound Lich? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, let's get rid of Swamp here. Oh, wow, every game, huh? Oh, every game, huh? Okay. Time warp. Okay. Talrin's invocation. Choose a card to discard. Well, I like an island. Probably give it opportunity here. It's a little pricey. I also like Nicol Bolas. Next turn we can Telling Time and Stormwing. I see. Wow, every every game. Like, two in a row. This is my saying. Like, they get this every game. We get this milled every game. We both have one because it's a cube. So, you know. Yeah, attack all at Teferi. Either Teferi dies and you get to loot one more time. Or you blink something and Teferi dies. So, this is an interesting Teferi play. Just loot, just, just loot twice. It's literally four mana faithless looting. Seems good. Oh, they hit Nexus of Fate. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. So we're gonna go telling time. Oh, interesting. Actually, I think that's pretty good in our hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the bird here. 
else? What are we doing? We don't need swamp. I don't want them to mill us and have this in our hand. I think that's the awkward thing. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Top. It just doesn't matter. trying to think of a way that they have to circumvent Nexus of Fate. We're always going to be able to draw it. We can play it, it gets shuffled back in. If they counter it, it goes to the graveyard and still gets shuffled back in. Like, they have to be able to make us draw multiple cards. They also have not milled our elixir of vitality as well, so that's a thing. Okay. <laughs> I said vitality. It's immortality, but that's okay. Oh, that's exciting. Let's play elixir. Get our prowess on. Interesting. <sighs> okay, that's fine. They have two cards in hand. I kind of want to just play Talrand here. I mean, they know I have Nexus, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> Thank you. Sword, you got it. Mark, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Is this a nice try, too? Let's find out. Oh, okay. So that was a nice try. <laughs> that was a nicer try. Got him. Got him. Well, they did a winky face. I don't think it was supposed to be... Uh, I don't think it was offensive by any means. <laughs> All right, we're going to get in there with this guy. <sighs> yeah. 
Each player draw a card? I don't know. I'll just draw one. I don't really want them. They're out of their, like, their their way of winning was, like, Sphinx's tutelage mostly. So I'm really, like, not a huge fan of giving them more cards. When I feel like we're in a commanding position here. Also, next to fate, being able to cycle with Tower End seems pretty good. A man-made object at the bottom of 10x. Could it be? <laughs> You're like, yes, dude, it's okay. Yeah, we're just blocking. Nigga Bolo and he's gone. Ain't no Nigga Bolas when he's away. Nigga Bolas when he's gone. And he takes an extra turn. Triggers all these creature things. A boon chicka doon chicka doon. Oh, it was uh, my try not nice. You did not think my try was nice there, huh? Okay. Ain't no darkness every day. That was not an Italian voice. That was like a Borat voice, who is literally a, a satire character. It's a satirical character, so... Come on, buddy. I think it's racist of you to assume my accent was Italian and it was derogatory, which was neither. So. It's just messed up, Neil. It's messed up. I think our deck is good. I kind of do want, like... I kind of do want, like, Doomblade just to kill the stupid... Talrand, because I feel like it can get out of hand. But. Very insensitive, Neil. Yeah, Neil, you're being. It's not good. Uh, I will keep. I like Elixir of Immortality on turn one. That's a good feeling. Can we mill them instead? Wouldn't that be sweet? Also, having the gate here is pretty strong. Neil is <laughs> sus. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one a lot. We're gonna play Underround. It lets us negate or Doomblade. Next turn we have a play, so we can keep up and negate and Doomblade again while we play Dismal, and then we can finally Talorand. <sighs> Maze Mind Tome's so strong. My grandpa was an Italian plumber. Dang. History is being made right here in this chat, guys. Hmm. I don't really want to get counterspelled and then also have them... I guess we have a negate. No, we don't have, we don't have to slam this down yet we have time Italian train person <laughs> oh the train people yep I mean this only draws four cards right like did Mooch just try any new recipes this year? I have no idea. I don't even know what that means.
Oh, they also have to discard, which is just fine. Gold. Gold. One, two, three, four. Let's invocation here. Talran's invocation. Give me my birds. Give me my drakes. That's the same thing. Not really. Those are two different. Oh yeah, get that maze mine. Dang it, I'm trying to get that maze mine tome out of here. Drakes and birds are from two different phylums. You're from two different phylums wrecked look at this Ooh. we could have memory lapsed the twin cast but like if they have twin cast in their hand which they will because we memory lapsed it then like negate is no longer good because their twin cast and doesn't negate like it just they, everything everything just gets worse at that point like this card is very good it's good I wouldn't say it's very good it's, it's good it's limited but good thank you it's probably very good in this match. I probably I, I I could see boarding it in for sure. Kerwit with the thirty months. Phylums that under got him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Attack old Tarifi. I'm gonna do this now. If they have counterspell, it still just shuffles back in. It's fine. <laughs> Go back into the deck. Now they don't have a counterspell. So our opportunity is more likely to resolve. We get to keep memory lapse up if we draw land. Tefri's at one? Sure. Blood of Tears, sure. <laughs> One, two, three. We'll go Toots. Keep up Elixir. Oh, we're living the dream now. Living the dream now, boys. You got it. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everyone else. It's just ones that I have my pants on. I make gold records. Who said that? What is that from? Do they play land this turn? No. That's fine. Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Six cards in your dick. Gonna kill this thing real quick. Now who is milling whom? Taylor, there's a P and Kieran L R card, along with the card that only has P. Yeah, the the only P card is after Kieran died. Also, in this chat, we sometimes call them PP and Kiki. <laughs> Uh, what does this do? Create an, a 7-7. Seven, seven. Return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Sh sure. That's just fine. Just fine. Counterspell. Well, they have five cards in their library, so... That's pretty bad. Now they go to three. We get to take another turn. Let's play a land. They will counter this because it kills them. <laughs> yep, you got it. So now we're gonna time warp. Doubt you have spell pierce. You didn't. Now we're gonna go to the next turn. Mill you for two. I'm just gonna draw and discard. Uh, what do I got? Oh, did I pay too much? Good games. What do we have drawn? Counterspell? That's a good one. Peepaw. <laughs> CC and PP, aren't those uh aren't those Jim Halpert and Pam's children? CC and PP. Oh, wait, we're going to do a thing. We're going to take out the flooded flood flood. We're going to take out that tears that that tears of floods. <sighs> Guys, I really want to just play Demonic Pact. Is that weird? Let's play Elixir. Maybe. Hmm. The funny thing is we have five creatures in our deck. This would be our sixth creature. So if we actually played this guy, at no point... Like, this is just a five-mana removal spell. At no point would we ever be able to attack with it. Or keep it in play. I might just want an extra land. Or Elixir of Immortality. Sure, you know what? We'll try it. If I ever draw Elixir and I and I would have preferred it to be Flood of Tears, then we know. I like it.
an island would be fantastic here. We got the island. Interesting. I'm just gonna hop this Jace down here. If they wanna counter it, that's fine. I ain't super, oh, they didn't. Is Jace just worse than Maze Mind Tome? Let's discuss. They discarded a beacon of destruction. Okay, I kind of want to kill that guy because it's a looter. It's a looter, boy. Oh, I like both of these. Um. Huh. Well... We're going to put this one on top and then this one on top of that. Because if they don't do anything, we get to Reign of Tears. And if they do, we could just memory lapse it anyway, so that's fine. Oh, PP and Kiki again? Dang. I think we should have just drew the gate and then did this. Because we're going to keep it on top, but that was just worse. I, mean, I still think we're fine. I don't think we're attacking here because then they get to. I guess they get to kill Jace anyway, but then we get to eat both doctors. Which is fine. Seven cards. How do they have more cards than us? I don't understand. Do I care about this? Not really. Oh, some convoking is happening. That's interesting. Did you say bacon of destruction? No. No. No, don't like that. Land? No land? That's wild. I guess we can go los. What the f Why wouldn't you mana like the other thing that lets you kill this and then attack into my Jace? What? That's super weird, man. I guess because I'm tapped out. I don't know. It still doesn't seem super ideal, to be honest. Oh, what up, Arctic Avenger? Oh, so all of them are going at Jace even though I'm tapped out. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's what we were hoping they'd do. Like... Thank you! So... Four cards, huh? Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub to MTG Bot. Like you do. Mm. 
six mana. Yeah, that's fine. This turning into a Planeswalker is harder for me to deal with, and now we can actually trade with the Enigma Drake, so... It's fascinating. I kind of just want Talran, because if we go Time Stop into Rain, it's a lot of creatures. I only have three cards. Three cards, not terrible. We can deal with that. We have we have three very good cards. Mm, sure, that's fine. Crash through. Sure, draw two. That's actually pretty good. Still think we're in good shape here. I'll 100% block this thing. Probably also going to crack our elixir here. It was just the perfect time for it, I think. The problem is if, like, I guess we can time stop when they have something on the stack, right? That just seems even better because then we just get to counter a spell instead of, like, doing it during their upkeep. If they want to attack, I'll just block. Yeah, I'll take two. I was going to say just block a goblin, but they did not attack with a goblin. They have no plays. Oh, wow. This is significantly better than I expected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm actually just going to discard underground because we're also going to telling time here. Yep. All right. Um, Preordain on the hand. Island on top. I assume they do not have a counter spell here. Yep. Destroys the goggles. They do nothing. <laughs> That's still fine. Five. I mean, we're just going to try to keep Nicol Bolas alive. Yeah, that's all fine. Hmm. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. We also have opportunity. I'm just going to pass and hope that we can time stop here. Okay. Um, we can discard blue, red. Ah, dang it, we didn't keep Counterspell Man up. I guess that's fine. Okay, we just win the game. I guess we didn't need it after all. Uh, 
Um, interesting. I don't hate Perilous Vault here, actually. Instead of like Elixir. Actually, kind of Elixir seems good. Ex Exile it and all other permanents. All of our, these are permanents. What kind of like, what are we risking? All of this? Probably not this. We just shuffle it in, but. I mean, Displacement Wave might, just, wave might just be better. Just bouncing all their tokens for two. I do wish I had another removal spell outside of, like, Demonic Pact. I also wonder if Yarok's worth it. The lifelink and the fact that it's five toughness. It might just be too good. Take out the wave. We can just play the Yarok. Like, we have three sources of, of green in the deck, so... Like this. We do want to hit more lands, so Preordain is actually probably fine here. Or we can keep it until Tutelage. And they went to six on the play. Yeah, we can just hold it. We're probably just going to go like, Sky Diamond next turn into Tutelage. Into Preordain. Which seems fine. Generator Servant. Oh, we actually can't do both without out of land. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. I think we just keep up negate telling time here. It seems fine. I actually don't know the specifics of the course set. I'm sure we can find it on online. Yep, that's good. Boy, my kingdom for a sweeper here. Enigma Drake, Elixir. I'm going to take the Drake and the Yarok, actually. Bottom, top... Play the land. Play the Drake. And next time we can play Golos for like City. Or we can just play Yarok if we hit a black or a. I guess it's just a black source. Or City Brass, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, this is a pretty easy. It's a pretty easy choice there. If you want a two for one for young Pyromancer, that's fine. Sure. This is a, uh, it's a hell of a turn. Yep, that was a good turn. This is zero four right now. 
let's go get a Temple of Malady, I guess. Yeah, and I'll actually keep that on top. So now we have blue, green, red, black. We just need a white. <laughs> what problem is? Do, do, do. They have no cards in hand? That's pretty good for us. Although this guy's kind of obnoxious with the Chandra on board. deal two to something, right? Or we can deal two to us. It's our creature or planeswalker. So two, two. And then they really need a hit there. And then we get to keep up counterspell anyway. One, two, three, four, five. We're playing the M20 legendary three, five for five train. Whatever this is, it's not. No. <laughs> But but don't. This actually seems like a good position for us. We can attack uh, Chandra twice. fine okay you got it oh no uh <laughs> no hits there huh Same thing, huh? Okay. Well. <sighs> I'm afraid of giving this more toughness and or more power and just killing us, killing us with it. So we're just gonna pass here. Yeah. I mean, we have to gate up, so that's fine. Three, four. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like the best draw you could have had there. You get to deal us two, put us to three. They can't sacrifice anything on their turn, so we do get to go up to six, though. It was actually pretty good. Time stop plus negate plus doom blade here is actually pretty insane. I think we're in really good shape here now. I think we can actually Golos. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can actually activate Golos now as well. So we're going up to six. Which is pretty decent. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can play Jason, draw a card, and then time stop. Bribery. That's interesting. Wow, 8th edition, huh? Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh my god, we're one shy. Oh, but this is just too much, right? Time stop. Yeah, we're just time stopping now. Actually, no, we're not. Maybe we are? Yes, because they don't get to draw a card, and I think that's more relevant than whatever they can do here. They also don't get to activate Chandra, and we have Nexus of Fade, so...
Yeah, they're pretty much dead, right? They go to one card here? Sure. Okay, 3-0 with that sweet Nicobolus Yarok deck. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Definitely check out ManaTraders.com. If you're looking for a sweet subscription service, you get 15% off the first three months of any subscription. And uh, you can also head on over to Twitch if you're watching on YouTube and definitely consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. Oh, I have three treasure chests. Let's open them all. 25 play points. A hull breacher. A, and everything else is pretty much junk. I wonder what Hellbreacher is going for. Extended art. That's interesting. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.